Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have the Moto M with me and in this uh, video we'll be doing the gaming review and we're going to play all these uh, popular games and I'll also be checking the temperature to see if it exhibits any overheating issues. So let's start with the Unkilled. So this is Unkilled and as you can see it's handling this game fine. I see no issues with this one. So continuing. So you'll have no problems playing this game. It's handling it very well. So let's move to uh, some other heavier games now. So this is uh, Mortal Kombat uh, X. And as you can see, it's handling it without any issues. Also in terms of camera angles, uh, it's good. Uh, sorry, the screen uh, viewing angles, I mean to say as you can see even at extreme viewing angles uh, it's a good IPS grade uh, screen it's not AMOLED it's an IPS grade screen so it's playing this uh, game very well uh, now let's move to Modern Combat X and see how it handles that one so this is uh, Modern Combat 5 and let's see how it handles this one I notice a minor frame drop there, but let's continue. We'll also check the temperature after this game. Yes, minor uh, lag uh, when I was scoping. That is uh, not a deal breaker, but let's continue. So now it's fine. I noticed some minor lag but uh, it's not that much. If you have played this game earlier you might notice it. I'm being very picky but let's continue. Here it is handling it fine. So this was fine. So for the most part I would say it handled this one also fine. Uh, now let's move to Asphalt 8 and see how it handles that game. So this is Asphalt 8, I'm playing it at the highest graphics setting and as you can immediately see, it's lagging. A lot of drop frames that I'm noticing. As you can see, it's jerky. So definitely this uh, device is not able to handle Asphalt 8. As you can see, it's dropping a lot of frames, choppy animation. So needless to say, very disappointing gaming performance with Asphalt 8. So this is Nova 3, let's see how it handles this one. Yeah. Oh, lob a grenade there. Oh, 
This one is uh, working a lot well I would say compared to Asphalt 8. And as you can see, this uh, ran actually uh, very well. I didn't notice any lag. Uh, let's also now look at the temperatures to see. And the ambient temperature around this area is 27.5. And on the screen, yeah, it is now touching 41.2 was the max that we saw. Yeah, 41.2. And uh, so yeah, with extended gaming, it can touch about 41 uh, to 42 degrees Celsius. Let's look at the back. And the back uh, is not that hot. It feels warm to touch. But again, as you can see, it's just about uh, 39.7. You can say about uh, 40 degrees Celsius. If you go down, again, it's about 39 that uh, you see. Uh, so yeah, the max is about 40 that you'll see. We are noticing on the back. So yeah, it does feel warm to hold, I would say. Uh, that's because it's having an aluminum back. It feels a lot warmer. Uh, it feels like it was 42, 43 or something like that. But again, we saw the temperatures, it was around 40 degrees Celsius. So what do I feel about the gaming performance uh, with this uh, Moto M? The gaming performance was sort of a mixed bag, I would say. Uh, yes, it ran unkilled without any issues. Uh, with Asphalt 8, it was very, very laggy and sort of unplayable at the highest graphic uh, settings. Uh, in, model, uh, sorry, uh, in Modern Combat uh, 5, I would say for the most part it was very good but i did notice some minor lag here and there uh, surprisingly nova 3 ran very well so sort of mixed performance uh, i would say in terms of gaming and certainly with asphalt 8 the gaming performance was very poor so looks like the gpu is uh, getting uh, pushed so again yes it's handling many of the heavy games but you will definitely notice some minor frame drops in some very heavy games so again a very mixed uh, performance i would say in terms of gaming in terms of heating yes it definitely feels warm to hold because this entire back is aluminium so it sort of uh, is acting like a heat sink but the con is that uh, the entire back gets uh, sort of warm when you're gaming but again it does not get very hot uh, max of about 40 to 41 degrees celsius I'll also be posting the full in-depth review of this Moto M in the next couple of weeks. So if you have any other specific questions around this device, do post them in the YouTube comments below. And if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.